Hey Kernan family, Pastor Andrew here. I uh, just want to take a few minutes to give you an update on our plans moving forward as we go through this uh, very unique season in our world right now. Um, I want you to know that as a church family, I truly believe that we can continue to pursue God's vision for our church as becoming a church that exists to make disciples who worship with authenticity, walk in community, and witness as we go. So we still plan to pursue that vision moving forward, though it will look very, very different in many ways. So I want to inform you today about a new temporary plan to get us through this season. We are launching a plan to take us through this called Kernan Church at Home. Kernan Church at Home. So I want to kind of walk you through the details of that uh, and exactly what that will look like in the weeks to come. So remember, the three purposes of our church are to worship, walk, and witness. So we've categorized everything we want to do under those three pillars and purposes. So, worship. We are going to continue to worship every Sunday. It'll look very different, and the way we're going to do this, uh, we will post a pre-recorded service at 10.15 a.m. Uh, each Sunday morning. So we'll have music, uh, we'll have a message, and I'm actually going to start a new sermon series this Sunday through the book of Philippians. Philippians is all about encouragement, uh, pressing on through tough times. So uh, the title of this series is called Press On. I couldn't think of a more appropriate uh, challenge and, and scripture for us to go through through this time. So we will resume our vision series and our core values when we come back together as a church, and I'm looking forward to that. But I think now the best thing to do is for us to study a book of the Bible together, and that's going to be Philippians, every Sunday morning at 10.15. You can look at kernanchurch.com uh, to find that video or youtube.com slash kernanbaptist. We also uh, will be posting a kids' Bible lesson every Sunday uh, from the Kids Gospel Project curriculum. So. One of our staff members will actually record a video and teach that Bible lesson so you can show your kids and lead them at this time to continue to learn about God, love His Word, and love each other. So that's our worship moving forward. Our walk, how we walk in community, is going to look very, very different, but I'm excited about some of the things we have in store for you over these next few weeks. So on a weekly basis, we want to continue to walk in community as a church. One primary way we want to do this, given the certain circumstances and, and everything going on, uh, we want to continue to provide member care. So we want to make sure we are taking care of one another. Uh, this, of course, involves physical needs as well as spiritual needs. So physically, this is difficult because we are supposed to keep a safe distance from one another to prevent the spread of this virus. Uh, but we do have a plan in place. Our deacons are working alongside our community group leaders as well as our staff uh, to implement this plan and make sure that those most vulnerable to this sickness uh, are well cared for through this time. We also have uh, a plan to meet spiritual needs. This will primarily come through phone calls, emails, text messages, those kinds of things. Uh, but we want you to know that we're always available for you. So you can uh, call any of the staff, uh, call our cell phone numbers, you can call your deacon, your community group leader. We want to stay in communication through this season and make sure that we are constantly helping one another in those spiritual ways as well. Another thing uh, we want to pursue over the next few weeks as we walk in community is a plan for at-home discipleship for adults. So each week you will be receiving a weekly email uh, with a sermon preview that gives you the text of the passage in Philippians that we will be studying that Sunday morning, the upcoming Sunday morning. So you can read it, you can study it on your own and prepare yourself for the sermon that you'll hear on Sunday. And you can also listen to uh, the worship music that, will be, that Kyle uh, and Emily will be um, singing for you and leading you in. 
Um, and then we'll also have, after the sermon in the following week, you'll get an email with a sermon review. So we'll have a sermon preview before Sunday and a sermon review after Sunday. This will greatly help you in your study of the Word as we all together as a church study the same passage of Scripture and I will send out a few questions for you to answer and to reflect on and really think about uh, in that following week after you've heard the sermon so you can really digest it and really understand God's Word. We'll also be sending out some prayer topics that we can pray through together as a church and stay united in that one mind and one spirit uh, as we communicate with each other and as we communicate with God. Also, in the third way we walk in community moving forward will be through family discipleship. Now, you've heard me say recently uh, in our sermon series, uh, in our vision series, that you know family discipleship is so important. Um, discipleship really starts in the home. Well, we didn't expect to have to really upstart this so quickly, uh, but with the circumstances that we're in, boy, now is the time, parents and guardians, now is the time to really, really kick this off in the right way. You have the time, and now we're gonna give you the resources to truly start this family discipleship model in your own home. Now's the time, parents, for you to shine. It's time for you to take responsibility and disciple your kids and learn and teach them uh, to learn about God and to love God and love each other. So the way we wanna do that is by, like I already told you, on Sundays, we're gonna post a pre-recorded message or teaching from one of our staff uh, just for the kids, and that's going to be through their normal Gospel Project Sunday curriculum. Um, so that will be pre-recorded on Sundays for you to watch at your convenience with your kids. Um, we also, are, I also want to challenge parents to pray daily as a family. So uh, you can look at a prayer guide that we're going to post at kernanchurch.com slash at home. Uh, so you can check out that as just an easy way to pray about uh, the situation going on in the world, to pray for each other, to pray for our church members, and to pray about the passage of Scripture that we are studying together as a church. Now, we're also going to have plenty of other additional resources for you. So, again, I can't emphasize enough. Go to kernanchurch.com slash at home, and you will be able to find great resources all online, easy for you to use uh, and, and access that you can use to disciple your kids and whether it be preschool, elementary, uh, middle school, high school, we're gonna provide all kinds of age appropriate resources for you in those ways on that part of our website. So that's how we're gonna walk in community as a church moving forward. And lastly, of course, we want to be an ongoing witness to our world in this difficult time. Now, it's gonna be hard to do this in the ways we're used to, but I think we can be creative, think outside the box a little bit, uh, and truly be a witness for Christ in our world at this time. You know, a great way to do this is just continue to love our neighbors. We can do this through, by meeting physical needs they may have and of course safe precautionary ways. Uh, we can do this through encouragement, just calling maybe some elderly folks in our community and just asking if they're okay, checking in on them. Uh, I think above all, we need to exhibit the fruit of the Spirit through this season. You know, Galatians 5.22 tells us, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. As Christians, we truly believe Jesus is seated on his throne. He is absolutely in control of everything that's happening. So we do not live in fear and panic. We need to exhibit the fruit of the Spirit to a watching world very carefully uh, as we move forward with our witness to the world. You know, a great way to do that is just conversationally with whoever you may be talking to on the phone or uh, communicating with, but also on social media. Let's exhibit the fruit of the Spirit on our Facebook accounts and other platforms. Uh, let's let people truly see the love of Christ in us through this difficult time. And that leads me to our final point as we witness to our world through this. Let's encourage everyone we come in contact with digitally, virtually, Let's encourage everyone with the hope of the gospel. The Great Commission is still our command. We still must be obedient to that. Even through this weird, awkward season of life for all of us, let's continue to share the gospel, spread the gospel in whatever way we can. So worship, walk, witness, 
that's our vision. That's what we're going to continue to do as we move forward as a church during this time. Now, lastly, I do want to talk about our communication as a church and, and how we're going to keep everyone updated and united uh, together through this. So some things will be normal, like our weekly email that you receive every week. Uh, if you are not subscribed to that, please go to our website and subscribe. There will be great information and updates every week, so on the weekly. Uh, also, we'll be providing a weekly video, video update uh, such as this, just giving you some updates on what's going on, any changes that may occur. Um, Facebook and Instagram will be very pivotal, our social media platforms. Uh, through this time, we've actually even created a new Facebook group. Uh, specifically for Kernan members to be a part of. Um, I can't believe I'm saying this, but if you don't already have Facebook, I would actually recommend just this once that you do go create, a, create an account uh, so you can stay up to speed with all the things that are going on. That's gonna be a great means of communication. And then of course, just phone calls and text messages will be a great way for us to keep up with one another uh, through this time, and I highly encourage that. So. Also, and lastly, like I've already told you, uh, kernanchurch.com slash at home. That's where we want everyone to go to get these resources that you will need, whether it be as a family, uh, as a single adult, whatever it is, it doesn't matter your situation, kernanchurch.com slash at home. Go there for updates and resources that will help all of us stay united and together as a church family through this difficult season. I want to close by reading a passage of scripture to you. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 and 4 says this, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our affliction, so that we may, may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. God has given his grace to us. Let's extend that grace to others. As we have been treated by God, may we treat others through this difficult season. I love you. I'm praying for you. And I'll see you Sunday uh, on the internet at 1015. Have a good day.